What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. Another episode. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is December 31st, so it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, never December. What is wrong with me? Today is November 31st. It was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> f***ed up. <laughs> I'm not doing this on purpose. I'm a complete show right now I'm not even gonna lie to you it is October 31st it is Halloween and that's how I'm feeling right now I don't really know what's wrong with me but I was sitting down watching Heart of Dixie and I was like oh my gosh I need to go to Trader Joe's because I really like Trader Joe's and they have the best sunflower seeds but anyways I'll get I'll get to that later I'm just entering this video as this main part of the video is going to be my Trader Joe's haul what I get, I'm gonna go in there and just get a bunch of stuff. Probably should clean out my fridge first so I have somewhere to fit it all. This is what the fridge is looking like. This is not cute at all. Maybe I'll do it when I get back. I feel like I should do it now. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go to Trader Joe's and then Damien should be back by the time I come back. But I'm just gonna get whatever I see and I think that I want. And then I'll come back and do a haul for you guys because that's one of the things you highly request. And I love watching Trader Joe's hauls and see what people like and what they eat. So that's what I'm about to go do. So that's what this episode is. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And let's go to Trader Joe's. I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go to Trader Joe's. I'm hoping that the lines won't be too long since it's Halloween. It's a Saturday, so I'm not quite sure. But because it's Halloween, I'm hoping people are busy doing other things, like dressing up, spending time with their kids, you know, stuff like that. That way I don't have to wait in this long line. Cause that's usually what Trader Joe's is. Just a really, really long line. This is a fanny pack that I always take with me whenever I go anywhere where I need my hands. I'll link this below. Um, I get a lot of requests to know where it's from like on my Instagram. So that is in the description box below. All right, got my mask. Let's go, let's go try this. I'll see you later, Quavy. <gasps> Bye, <laughs> Bye, Novi. I love you. It should be good boys. Daddy should be home soon. successful trip I think we'll see when we get home um, I guess I'll explain when I get home what I got and why I got it so see you there. we are back Trader Joe's haul but first Damie we doing a Halloween costume I'm getting right it's five o'clock on Halloween and you're just not doing your costume CPT. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's start from over here. So I just got some blackberries, some raspberries, and some strawberries. These are usually eaten in the morning time, so like with our oatmeal, or if I make eggs or something, I'll put at the side of fruit. Bananas, I don't eat bananas by themselves. I think bananas are disgusting unless they're in smoothies because I think they add like a creamy substance to smoothies. So, um, and I always get the ones that are a little bit greener so they last longer. Uh, I got some of these dragon fruits. I usually don't buy dragon fruits. This is like a first time purchase type of thing. Um, but I, think, I thought they were cool. And I've had dragon fruit before, like on vacations and stuff. Oh God. But so I got some of those. Some pre-sliced mangoes. I could have just bought like whole mangoes, but I didn't feel like it. So I got pre-sliced mangoes. Um, I got some of these rough rolled corn tortilla chips chili lime flavored. I heard these are similar to Takis. And I really like Takis mixed with like dipped in um, sour cream. So I got some Takis. I always have sour cream on hand, so I didn't have to buy that. 
I got some of the Trader Joe's popcorn with herbs and spices. I had never had this before either. Wanted to try that. And then I also got the nacho, nacho cheese tortilla chips. Maybe a healthier version of Doritos. I love Doritos. So I saw these and I was like, I'll just grab them. I also got these gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. I did not know they were gluten free, so that's a nice surprise. But I just saw pumpkin spice and it sold me, so I got some of these. I got a cuke. I like snacking on cucumbers and also just like putting them on the side of stuff if I feel like I need some greens. So I'll eat this like raw, just like that. I got some um, mushrooms because I wanted to try to make these stuffed mushrooms. Damien won't eat these. Will you eat these? No. You had mushroom soup. I don't like the what if I stuff them? I just don't like the texture of Okay, well, I'll be making myself some stuffed mushrooms. Um, so I got some of those. We love arugula salads. It's like the easiest addition to a meal. I think I made it. Oh, yeah, I made the salad um, a couple of videos ago. So go look at my what I eat in a day for like my go-to arugula salad recipe. It's super easy um, with like this lemon olive oil dressing. Very good. I got some organic Tuscan kale, um, it's already cut, washed, and ready to use. I'll make some um, kale chips out of these. Kale chips are so easy to make, and sometimes I just snack on them, so I love these. I got some broccoli florets for sides of dinners as well. I got some Brussels sprouts as well. I basically cook the Brussels sprouts and the broccoli the same in the oven, and I use them as sides for dinners. I got some baby spinach, which um, I'll either throw in like my eggs in the morning or in smoothies. Probably gonna go into smoothies. These you can only get at Trader Joe's and it's part of the only reason why. There's two things in here in this grocery haul, which I'll get to the second one, why I always, why I only go to Trader Joe's to get these things, but into getting other things. These fruit bars, are the best fruit bars in the entire world. Um, so just to show you, <laughs> as I was about to show them, we have this whole thing up here of all of these like types of bars that Damien brings home from the facility. And I don't like them. This is like a Fig Newton, like a healthier version of a Fig Newton bar. And I hate Fig Newton, so ew, to both of those. He has these, th he loves them by the way. <laughs> like he just, he just ate that. He just grabbed it from the top and is already, and is already done with it. So he loves them. I am not a fruit bar kind of, I mean I'm not a, like a bar kind of girl. I just don't think they, they're good and stuff like this tastes like protein powder to me. I mean it's a protein bar, but I just hate the way that it tastes. I, don't listen to me though. Like if you like this stuff, if you want to try it, like I said, Damien, especially these Nature's Bakery things, Damien loves them. He eats them every day, but they're not for me. So to get something, a bar for me that's easy to eat and I feel good eating it, these are the only bars that I'll eat. So they're, they're um, gluten-free fruit bars and they're vegan and they're just like raw fruit. So good. So this is apple strawberry. I just got one apple banana because, like I said, I'm not a huge banana person. But um, I wanted to just try it, something different. Did you get another one? <laughs> so he likes them. Um, and then I got apple mango, re really good. So I got, I think I got four of the apple strawberry, four of the apple mango, and one of the apple banana. And then these ones right here, these are the dried fruit bars. These are also gluten free. Or are they not vegan though? They should be vegan too. Apple strawberry bars, and apple apricot fruit, dried fruit bars. So these are like my bars and I love them, I love them, I love them. So good. Um, I got some more fruit. These are Asian pears, I think. They look like apples, but they're Asian pears. And they're really good. I like them, these pears, better than any other kind of pear because they kind of have the consistency of an apple. It's like a perfect cons consistency of an apple and a pear, like the tough, not tough, the firmness of an apple, but the taste of a pear. Um, I hate pears that like melt in your mouth. That makes me want to gag, but these ones are really good. So I got two of those. I got some chicken bone broth. I love like broth soups. Um, but I've never had bone broth by themselves, and they have really good health benefits. I got this clarified butter. I'm trying to go 
I'm trying to be a little bit more health conscious. And so ghee is butter without the dairy. So got that. I got some breadcrumbs to go on the stuffed mushrooms. Um, we needed some more olive, some more oils. So I got um, avocado oil. I read something that was I had, had a list of oils that were bad for you and oils that were good for you. Um, and so avocado oil is good for you. I got some more extra virgin olive oil and then I got some garlic flavored extra virgin olive oil. So I'll put this on like the kale, chips, Brussels sprouts, and the broccoli to coat it. I got some eggs. We get brown eggs in this house because this sir only wants brown eggs. Why? Because we need brown eggs to support brown black businesses. <laughs> because why? Because they come from brown chicken. <laughs> This is what I live with every day. That's not true. I don't know. <laughs> One day he just made that up in the grocery store, so that's what we go with. Um, I got some more vanilla extract. I got some onion salt. Mmm, onion salt. Goes with everything. <laughs> I got some cream cheese that will go on my bagel and also in the stuffed mushroom bagel. filling. Um, and then I got these. These are like my favorite nighttime snack or dessert. I don't feel guilty eating them. I feel like you can pretty much make this on your own, but it's easier this way. Yeah. What? Sometimes at night you just don't want to make something that's pre-made. Exactly. So I just go in the freezer and grab those. These chicken gyozas, uh, gyoza pot stickers are really good as well, just to like cook up um, on days where it's like a good lunch or on nights where I just don't feel like cooking. I'll just throw a bunch of stuff together and I'll put a side of these. Um, I got some chicken lo mein. Damien likes chicken lo, it's low fat too, babe. Damien likes chicken lo mein. I like chicken lo mein as well, so I got some of that. I got a pumpkin cheesecake to taste. chow mein. Oh, that's what I meant to say. Chow mein, sorry. Pumpkin chow mein. I got some, I mean, chicken. oh my gosh, I can't talk. I got some, I got some chicken chow, no, when I was doing the intro to this video, I said today is December 31st, happy Halloween. And then I caught myself and I was like, oh my God, today is not December. Today is November 31st. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <happen. laughs> you want this year to be over with that bag? Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay, so then I got a pumpkin cheesecake. This is just for taking it. I'm gonna take it over to Seth and Aisha's house tonight. We're going over there, so I thought I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure people would like to enjoy some pumpkin cheesecake, so I'm gonna take that over to the house. Um, I got a couple of salmon fillets. These are pretty big, but if we don't end up eating them all at night, which I definitely won't, then I'll just eat it in the morning and I'll put it over maybe like some salad, something like that. Um, I got some carne asada. I usually make, on Tuesdays we have taco, because it's Taco Tuesday, right? Um, and I usually make my own carne asada marinade, but Trader Joe's makes it really easy, so I like their flavors and everything, so I'll put that in the freezer for next Tuesday. Um, I got some bacon, pork bacon. I, this is for me. Damien eats turkey bacon, but you already know that if you've seen my What I Eat in a Day video. I then got this spatchcock lemon rosemary chicken. Um, I like, again, I think I made a a chicken cook with me video where I made a whole chicken, but which you can obviously do. You can obviously make your own chicken, but Trader Joe's makes it easy. It's already marinated and good to go, so all you have to do is cook it. And then last but not least, the whole reason why I go to Terry Joe's in first place at the end of the day is for these bad boys. When I was checking out, the lady was like, these are so addicting. And I'm like, I know. So in my family, we, we do a lot of road trips, a lot, a lot, a lot of road trips growing up. And we would always eat sunflower seeds. So I would call myself, I think me and Stefan are like self-proclaimed sunflower seed connoisseurs because we know what's good and we know what's bad in my personal opinion trader joe's has the best sunflower seeds in the entire world name a sunflower seed company and this tops it i think the the second one would be lays the one that you get in the grocery store 
they're in like a thinner package and with like a, a light blue packaging. Those are good. Those some those can even match up to these ones, but they're not consistent. And these are always consistent. They always taste the same. They always have like big seeds that have they're not puny. They have really good seeds inside. I don't know. The, the flavor is there. The salt is there. It's just amazing. So if you are a sunflower seed lover, obsessed person like myself, get you some Trader Joe's sunflower seeds. And the thing is, I'm not even supposed to be eating sunflower seeds because I have a food intolerance to them. Because I think I've been I ate them too much. Um, so I used to eat them. I don't know. Before I found out about my intolerance, how much was I eating sunflower seeds? A lot. I don't even too much. At least every, I mean definitely every day. No. If not every other year. Yeah. Anyways, that is my Trader Joe's haul. This is enough to fill a whole video, so I'm gonna end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys like to get from Trader, from Trader Joe's as well, because they have everything in there and it's kind of overwhelming. It's like going to Target. I forgot something. What? What do I like from Trader Joe's? I forgot something that mm -hmm. you like? Mm -hmm. What? <sighs> Maybe you guys can find out on the next video. What is it? No, I have some. Ah. Seaweed see, snacks. So I usually would get seaweed snacks from Trader Joe's because they have the best seaweed snacks as well. We have some in the cabinet, by the way. But what he doesn't know is that I have back stuff. I have... You, let me show you. I have backstock seaweed snacks right here. So he was saying that I forgot him. But I did not forget him. I just knew I already had some here. Wow. You thought, you thought I forgot you. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, like I said, leave what you like from Trader Joe's in the comments below and I'll check it out, I like trying new things. Can you move the camera down a little bit? Look, Wizard Kelly. See you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And, mwah. <laughs> okay. He made me refilm that. <laughs>